pumpkins, soup, leaves, and football. These are some of the highlights of fall. And they're on their way. A farm in Bourbon County is even more excited, though, for autumn because of their corn maze. Evening Edition's Ricky Sayer takes a trip to the cornfield to see the design of this year's maze. You could say corn mazes are part of this family's history. We certainly went out to explore corn mazes and stuff even into our college years, so maybe that's just us and how we ended up here. <laughs> here is owning the Middle Springs farm. Her husband planned and put together a corn maze for the second straight year. I get to be wowed by it just like all of our visitors are. The reveal came today. Starting to look a bit familiar, right? That's because these paths represent roads here in the state of Kentucky. This is the entire state of Kentucky, and I'm standing right where Lexington would be. Say get lost in amazing Kentucky, so come on out and try it out and see how far you can make it. I did take that first, see that first shot from the air and was pretty happy with how, how it turned out. This isn't your ordinary maze. Rather than getting lost, maybe uh, you're looking at finding places. Visitors will be tasked with finding 12 Kentucky cities that are across the maze. Bring your Rand McNally, pull out your, your road maps. At each spot, people will find facts about those cities. So here we are in Paris, Kentucky. At least in the corn maze. But we also think that it's kind of a cool celebration of our state, our commonwealth. It's not too crazy. No one's going to get too lost in there, but it's enough to keep you having fun finding all 12 cities. A maze leading visitors to something new. In North Middletown, Ricky Sayer, Evening Edition. The maze opens to the public one month from today on September 9th. And it'll be open every weekend until the end of October.